In this video, you're going to look at what causes a material to change state. You will consider why materials change and what that change actually means at a particle level. Take a look around you. You're surrounded by three physical states of matter. Of those you can see, many will be solids. The ground you're standing on is likely to be a solid. Some of the things around you will be liquid. Look up into the sky. Do you see any clouds? Perhaps it's raining where you are. Water is the most common liquid covering most of planet Earth. Try moving your arms and hands quickly around you. What do you feel? This is a mixture of gases called air. You cannot see gases, but you can see their effects. Materials of all types can be changed into solids, liquids or gases by changing their temperature. In a solid, the atoms that make them up are tightly packed together in a lattice of rows and columns. The bonds between the atoms are strong. This is why the solids around you remain in a fixed shape. If you can imagine the atoms in a place like a regiment of soldiers on parade, you would see them vibrate from side to side, whilst in their fixed position. Imagine heating the solid, raising its temperature, and giving each particle more energy. The particle vibrates more and more, until they have enough energy to break out of the lattice. The bonds will break, and the atoms begin to move around much more easily. The substance will change into a liquid. With more energy, you can imagine the atoms moving freely around like dodging cars at the fair. This change is called melting. If you continue to heat the particles, they will gain yet more energy and move more freely. The atoms spread out. Now free to move, the particles move right away from each other. Imagine the particles whizzing around at great speed. The space between the particles is very large, and the bonds now non-existent. We call this evaporation. All the changes that you've thought about will go in the opposite direction, if a material is cooled. Where spaces between particles got larger on heating, on cooling they become closer together. Just take a moment to breathe on a window. What do you see? The air you breathe out is warm and moist. What you see is condensation, as the air cools on the colder glass. If you place a glass of water in a very cold place, the water will quickly cool and the liquid will become solid. This we know as freezing. So in summary, the physical state of a material is dependent on the energy the particles that make it up have. The more energy they have, the smaller the bonds between them and the more they move about. Each material has its own melting point and boiling point. These are key temperatures where a material will change state between solid, liquid and gas. 